Hello and welcome. Today we're working on inventory problems in financial accounting. So things like FIFO and LIFO and weighted average. And so let's get started. I'm going to do two problems today. And so let's get started on the first one. Now, there are really four methods of handling inventory. One, you know specific identification means you know exactly which items you're selling. But generally we don't know that, so we have to make some inventory assumptions. And so our first assumption is FIFO, which is first in, first out. It means we sell the first items that we purchased are the first ones we sold. The LIFO assumption, or last in, first out, is the very last items we purchased are the first ones we sold. These are assumptions we have to make because sometimes we don't know exactly which ones we sold. And then there's a method called weighted average, and we'll show how this works. Now, there's two systems. There's periodic and perpetual. Periodic, uh, the dates uh, really don't matter, and it's only at the end of the period. And perpetual, the dates are going to matter. So we're going to show LIFO and FIFO and weighted average under periodic, and we're going to show uh, LIFO and FIFO under perpetual. So here's our initial problem. Here's our problem one. Let's assume we have on June 1st, we had beginning inventory, 20 items we purchased at $10 each, and I'm going to show inflation. This is kind of dramatic inflation. We purchased some at $10 and then $13 and then $15, all within one month. So that's kind of dramatic inflation. So on June 10th, we purchased $40 at $13. Then we purchased $60 at $15 each, $30 at $20 each. And so here are the dates. Okay, now one thing we want to do is we want to figure out what is the total. The total here is 150 items we had available to sell. And what is the total cost? Well, I'm going to take the 20 units times the $10. That's going to be $200. And then I can just copy this down. And so 40 times 13 is $520. 60 times 15 is 900. 30 units times $20 is 600. And we want to figure out what is the total that we've paid for these items. And that's $2,220. So we spent um, $2,220 on 150 items. Now, we have two sales. We had a sale on the 15th of June for 35 units and a sale on the 24th of June for 55. And that's a total of 90 units that we've sold. So here's what we're trying to complete. We're trying to complete this little chart and we're, we're gonna say, how much is the cost of the items we sold, cost of goods sold? What is the cost of the items in any inventory? So here's what I do. I add a little helper cell and I'll say, look, I've sold 90. We sold 90, so that's the cost of goods sold that we're gonna to try to get the dollar amount for. And then we had 150 available and if we sold 90, then we must have any inventory of 60 items. So let's get started. And so follow along with what we're gonna do on this one. Now, periodic FIFO. Periodic, we only look at the, the final numbers. Um, so we sold 90, and which 90 did we sell? The dates don't matter. Really, the June 15th and the June 24th, it doesn't really matter. And FIFO, we're going to assume the very first items that we purchased are the first items we sell. So on FIFO, we're going to say we sold 90. We're going to start at the top, this 20, this 40, and then we need... 20 plus 40 is 60. We need 30 more at that next level. Does that make sense? So what happens is we're going to assume all the first 20 are sold plus the next 40. Now we're up to 60 and we're going to add then we need 30 units times that $15. So we're assuming the very first 90 are sold and that's going to have a cost of 1170. So if we sell 20 here, 40 more, that's 60, and then only 30 of the June 20th purchase, okay? Now, what we can do, there's two ways to solve the ending inventory. We could say, well, we know it's 2220 minus the cost of goods sold. And so therefore, our ending inventory cost of those 60 is 1,050. Let me show you how to do it directly, but you can always, if you know the cost of goods sold, you can always back in to find any in inventory or vice versa. So what we have is we have 30 items that cost us 
because we, we sold the first 30 and we didn't sell 30 of those. Plus, we didn't sell the 30 times 20 and that's 600. So that's 1,050, that gives us the same answer as we did before. So our FIFO assumption is we sold the very first 90 and we did not sell the last 60. Now, on LIFO periodic, we're gonna to have to flip that uh, assumption and we're, we're gonna say we sold the last 90. So we'll start at the bottom and I work our way up. So what did we sell? 90, which 90 did we sell? We assume that's the very first one we sold plus 60 more. So 30 plus 60, that's exactly 90. So we don't have to go into the previous level. So we're gonna assume cost of goods sold here is 600 plus the 900, those two levels. So that's 1500 and our LIFO uh, uh, ending inventory then would be the 200 plus the 520. Now it works out just perfectly here. This happens to be the 90 that we sold and this happens to be the 60 we didn't sell if we assume the LIFO assumption. Now weighted average, here's what we're gonna do on weighted average. Weighted average is gonna be in between those two. So we need, to, we need to take the total cost of 2220 divided by the units of 150. So we're gonna figure out what is the average cost. Now the average cost is gonna be in between the 10 and the 20. So let's see what it is. It's gonna be 14.8 or $14.80. So all we have to do is take the 90 units times 1480. We're saying of the 90 units we sold, what's our cost? Well, it's 1332. Now, we don't need pennies here. We can just round to whole dollars. We're talking about 1320, and so we don't need pennies. And so then we can take 60 units times the 1480, and we're going to get 888. So we have three different assumptions under the periodic method, FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average. All right, let's also do uh, perpetual. Now, on perpetual FIFO, the dates matter. So here's what we're gonna do. We need to do it individual dates, the first, the 10th, the 15th, and the dates are gonna matter. So let's get started on, on this one. So we need to do it very procedural and, and we'll see what we can do on this one. So the first thing we did, we purchased 20 and we purchased 20 at $10. Now I have it where it's already gonna multiply out, well 20 times 10 is 200, so right now our inventory is 200, 20 units at 200, automatically calculating just using Excel. Then on the 10th is the next date, right? So we have the first, we have the 10th, we have the 15th then, but on the 10th we purchased 40 units they're gonna cost us a total of uh, 13, or rather 13 each, so the total is gonna be $520. Now the FIFO method, we're gonna sell, and we're gonna sell the first items. So on the 15th is our next one, we sold 35. Well, which 35 did we sell? Well, the first 35. So you're gonna to have to kinda of watch this because it's kinda of hard to show, um, maybe using Excel, so we sold 20 on the first level and then 15 more. We've got to sell 35. So we're going to sell um, 20 and make that zero. We're going to sell 15. So 40 minus 15 is going to be 25. All right, so that's going to be 25. So after our first sale of 35, we only had um, the June 1st, 20 and the June 10th, 40 available. All right, now the next thing that happens is we have the June 20th, we purchase 60 items. That's gonna cost us $15 each, so that's into the 900. And then we sold 55. Well, which 55 did we sell? Well, the first 55. So we're, we gotta start with the 25, that's our first items that are available. So we're gonna say um, 25 of these go away, so we sold those. Now we needed 55, so we need 30 more here. So we're gonna take the 60 minus the 30, and we'll have 30 left, right? And so that's the 30 we have left after the June 24th sale. Now, the last thing we have is the June 30th. We purchased 30 items at $20.
All right, so our ending inventory using perpetual FIFO is going to be uh, 60 items that cost us $1,050. So I'm going to point to that. This is $1,050. Well, what about our cost of goods sold? Well, we're going to take the 2220 minus the 1050 and it's 1170 Now, I want you to see what happens here. If we're on the um, FIFO method, look at the FIFO method for periodic and for perpetual. It is the same answer. So you don't have to do perpetual FIFO if you already know periodic FIFO. FIFO is the same whether it's periodic or perpetual. So if you're asked for both, it's going to be the same answer. All right, one more on this problem. We need to do perpetual LIFO. So the same kind of idea here is, except we're going to use the dates. The dates matter on perpetual, except we're going to sell from the bottom, not from the top. We're going to assume the last items are the first items we sell. So let's do perpetual LIFO. The very first thing that happens, we purchase 20 at $10 each. Then on the 10th, the next date is 40 at $13. Okay, so we have 60 items available when we make our first sale of 35. Well, which 35 did we sell? Well, we're selling from the bottom since this is the LIFO method. So I'm gonna take 40 minus the 35 and we're left with five. So we, we knock out 35, we're left with five, okay? So then we have on the 20th, we have 60 items we purchased, and each of these cost us 15 for a total of 900. Then we have a sale on June 24th of 55. So we're gonna knock out from the bottom, sell from the bottom, 60 minus 55, and we're left with five units in that level. Then the very last thing we do is we purchase 30 at $20. So our ending inventory using perpetual LIFO is going to be $940. And then for cost of goods sold, it's going to be the 2220 minus the ending inventory, and that will give us 1280. All right, so that's how you work a problem with LIFO and FIFO and weighted average with periodic and perpetual. All right, we'll do the next problem in the next video, problem two, because this, problem, this uh, video is getting a little bit long, so we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.